Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Scott Haugen, world renowned, no question, author, uh, photographer, uh, TV host, all kinds of different things outdoors related. Uh, how can folks find you, Scott, if they ever wanted to try to follow along with you with what you're up to? You know, I post things uh, pretty regular on Instagram, not everything, but a few things there. So uh, it's just Scott Haugen Outdoors. And uh, of course, they can go to my website. Uh, it's just scotthaugen.com. Uh, there, I, I, my book's for sale there, uh, the, the, the Blacktail book. There aren't, there aren't many stores these days. A lot of stores have cut out books. So the website's where they can find the book. And, and uh, yeah, Instagram, a little bit of Facebook stuff, but not a whole lot. Very cool. If you want to follow somebody that can help you out in the long run with learning more how to do things the right way, follow along. And if you wanted to learn how to cook stuff the right way, your wife, Tiffany, well known for that. That's the best part about it. I, Scott, I, I don't know if you ever get to catch the show, but I say it all the time. It's why we do this, everyone, is perfect meat, unmolested meat, absolutely the best that there is. Out of all these many different species, there are so many great ways to, well, make our dinner, right? Make our lunch, whatever yeah. it might be. That's why we do this. Um, okay, so again, we covered a little bit of ground there. Now, for, for folks that have their tag, they're getting ready. You got rifles, you got your gear, you got trucks, trailers, stuff like that. Any advice there that you can give them, maybe last minute things uh, to tell them, don't overlook this as you are heading out for that rifle hunt? Yeah, you know, I think the biggest thing is make sure that everything that you just mentioned is in working order. You know, make sure you have a spare tire and know how to change your tires and, uh, you know, all the fancy trucks nowadays, you know, they have, you know, specialized lug nuts. And, you know, if you're stuck in the woods without that, uh, you know, not being able to move, then, then you're behind the game. As far as clothes go, yeah, I was talking to uh, um, someone at, at, at Danner Lacrosse Boots this week, and they said, you know, if you kind of like the message that you just mentioned earlier about turning your boat lights on. They said, you know, if you could just mention somewhere that people need to break in these new boots we came out with, it's like, you know, well, this is something I read about in the 60s. Why are we even still talking about this? But they said <laughs> the number of people who buy a, a, a pair of hunting boots the week before the season and then return them because they didn't, you know, they got blisters or they were hot or, you know, ruined their hunt. It, you know, it, it, every good quality hunting boot needs breaking in time, whether that's just wearing it around the house or, you know, out in the yard as you're doing chores or running the dog or going to town, whatever it is, you know, start getting comfortable with that. It's not too late to physically get in shape. Again, you know, it's with black tells it's not so much that you have to get um you know far away back from all the crowds all these deer you know know where everyone's at but but you know you're gonna have better success going into the woods and hopping down into a canyon and some of this country is big so make sure you know how the how the boots operate how your clothes work you know if you need some early season moisture wicking clothes you know i look back at some of the old photos that even when i lived in alaska you know how many doll sheep and moose and other animals around the world you know that we killed just wearing blue jeans and you know, <laughs> the boots I got at Bymar, you know, <laughs> stuff that, uh, you know, that, that were good for back in the day. But there's a lot of really good specialized gear out, near, out here now that's going to keep you hunting more comfortably and more safely uh, longer in the day and throughout the season. And, and as far as your gun goes, this this was something that really surprised me on the antelope hunt. How many hunters I ran into that said, you know, gosh, we just can't get close to, to these antelope, you know, anything but, but you know this side of 200 yards, you know, is what we're going to shoot at. But anything beyond 200 yards, we, we just don't feel comfortable shooting at that. And, you know, with, with today's modern equipment, with, with the guns and the bullets and the scopes and the loads and, and the great shooting sticks that we have now, uh, you know, honestly, a four or 500 yard shot, if you practice it, is, it comes as easy as a 100 yard shot does. So, so being able to extend that shooting range comfortably comes down to knowing your gear, practicing with it, knowing how it works you should be able to operate your gun and every element of that gun and your scope and the shooting sticks in the dark when it comes time to get on an animal the only thing you're thinking about is what his body position is like and when you're going to pull the trigger not worrying about your gear not worrying about whether or not you're going to hit the animal you know if you're, if you're questioning whether or not you're going to hit the animal don't pull the trigger it should be 100 percent certainty every time and if you miss you should be surprised and try to figure out why so these are some things that I do just trying to prepare for this season. And when, when hunting season comes along, all I care about is just what, what that animal is doing, nothing else. Uh, that's a great point all by itself with the, the equipment, the gear. You can take all that stuff out of the equation if you've practiced even just a little bit. Now, everyone, we all understand that ammo right now is very difficult to get still, believe it or not. 
uh, for a lot of different calibers, a lot of different um, bullet weights and different vari variations, especially if you're buying it off the counter. But you can still take half a box and dial yourself in you know, to 300 yards and, and be very confident that inside of that range, you know, within underneath 500 yards, practicing at 300, that you're going to be pretty darn consistent. But I think the best advice that you just said, if you're worried about actually hitting, making a, a, making a good hit, don't pull the trigger. I mean, that's probably the best advice right there. If it's that m concerning to you, well, you probably put yourself in a bad situation. All right. And I also you like know, what you yeah. mentioned there about the boots. Uh, that is certainly something that I've done in the past, and I know that there's many people that have that put a brand new pair of boots on and are wondering why they can't walk anywhere uh, a day or two into their hunt. Um, okay, well, you mentioned that you have some books available that people can find on your website, and uh, people, by all means, look into that, find something that's going to entertain you and at least give you some education. Uh, but any parting shots, any last things that we can throw out there to all those folks before they head out into the woods, Scott? You know, uh, just if you're out there opening day or late archery season here, you know it's hot, so take care of that animal. Uh, you know, uh, uh, all we eat is wild game. Someone brought us some grass-fed uh, beef and, and pork the other day, and I just gave it to the neighbors. We don't, we don't even eat it. It's all 100% wild game and fish in our family, again, thanks to Tiffany. But, but you know, her recipes are great because we take care of the animals in the field. So if you kill a big buck or kill a bull, don't put it in the back, you know, get it, pull it in the back in the, put it in the back of the truck and drive around showing people. Get the hide off it, get it quartered, get it cooling as quickly as you can, get rid of all that bloodshot, because the final product that you're going to eat really starts with how well you take care of it in the field. Another great piece of advice. I hope I have that trouble. <laughs> I hope that I have that issue this year with the bull on the ground. If not, it, well, I'll get my deer. I'll get, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I'm going to do my best I can. <laughs> Scott, thank you as always, sir, for sharing some advice. And I look forward to talking to you a little bit more before this year is over with. Maybe talk a little waterfowl season uh, as it comes around. My favorite thing in the whole world. How's that sound? You betcha. Anytime. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for spending some time with us. We appreciate you uh, breaking out a little bit for us. And say hi to Tiffany for us all from Out There GPS, okay? Will do. Hey, thanks. Appreciate it. You bet, Scott. Take care. That's Scott Haugen, everyone. If you would like to learn a little bit and just follow along with what he's up to, which is a lot, <laughs> find him on social. You'll be able to easily. All right, we're going to cut to a quick break. When we come back, We've got a couple of questions from our email, uh, email, our Facebook page. We're going to answer those. We do have a minute or two broken out for phone calls. So if you're out watching, if you have a quick question, call us up on that Terra Firma hotline. It's 503-548-6777. We'll be right back. Outdoor GPS is brought to you by Terra Firma Foundation Systems. We keep homes safe, dry, and stable. By Yakima Bait, steeped in tradition, innovation, and fishing success. And by Procure Bait Sense, ruthlessly effective.